my buddy is about to get down and dirty. Alright, quit doing the juicy way go. <laughs> Alright, so um, this morning Aiden come in uh, from milking. I asked, was asking him how did milking go this morning. He was like, it was terrible. We had an awful morning. So anyway, he started yeah. telling me about it. Um, not only were they having issues with the power, Elsa was acting crazy. The wagon was being nuts this morning. And he was like, and there's like maggots everywhere. They're all under her food container. It's gross. So I was like, we got to do something about that. So Aiden and I are fixing to get some green netting that we had around some of our raised beds to keep cats out. And I, on the front of our station out there, I'm going to put some nails in and I'm going to take that green netting and put it on the, the front side of the stanchion. Then we're going to go catch some chickens and we're going to throw them in the stanchion. We might need screws. And we're going to let them eat those maggots that are out there. So it's going to be a nasty day. It's raining on us. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to take the camera out there um, to set it up and record. Not sure. I see it fogging up now just because it's so hot. It's very humid, but it's rainy and nasty. So I don't know. We're going to see. See how it goes. Do you need a screwdriver? I'm just going to use that. So you see the wiggling down there. I'm trying to get it focused pretty good. Um, but all in this mud pit right here. I'm going to have found it. Let's see. I just saw one moving a while ago. Apparently they had gotten under this food container where Elsa eats down here and um, so we're going to do our best to kind of rope this off, get some chickens in here and just let them eat. So it's get, the camera's kind of getting fogged up, it's raining so we're going to have to put the camera at a kind of an awkward um, place just so that it doesn't get wet but we're going to go ahead and get started with our fencing.
worst day. Okay, so we've got that put up. We're fixing to go around and do the other side, and then we're going to go catch our chickens. And you can see we've got water just running, channeling down because we've had so much rain. So that probably didn't help the nasty situation in the stanchion either. All right, so we got two of our older chickens. They don't really lay anymore. Where's the hammer? So we've got two of them in there. I've seen the bigger one already starting to peck around some, so we really need them more towards the front, but I'm sure after a while they'll find their way to the food. As you can see, they've gone off to explore and I've saw them nibbling stuff up. So, they have found their food. We're going to leave them alone for a little while and let them stay out here eating. Um, I've seen them moving some rocks around. And uh, nibbling on stuff, like I said. So, we're going to leave them alone and let them finish eating, doing their job, and then we'll come back out here and check on them. Okay, you can see where they've scratched up moved rocks around um, I don't actively see anything moving like we had like I had earlier um, so I'm pretty sure if they didn't get all of them they at least put a dent in um, in the maggot situation that we had over here and this is where Elsa's food sits and she eats so I'm sure as she's dropping food on the ground the flies are uh, finding pretty good places um, to lay eggs and like I said um, the chickens have been out here for about four hours now and if they didn't get everything um, they definitely put a dent in it for sure so even though it was a nasty job not something that we want to do every day um you know it is just part of it sometimes we wanted to get this cleaned up and it required a little bit of work to get it done um but we hope that it helped these two are well, I just scared one off, but that one right there has been going to town over there. I'm chunking them over there and basically putting them on the surface where they can reach them. And you see she's going to town. Well, it's dark, but we work from sun up to sundown. 
and ah. I, it because Barry has come through. I'm um, in his rain, rain, rain. I haven't really been able to get out here, so I've been needing to get. Can you still see me? I can. I've been needing to come out here and get these mammoth sunflowers to um, give us some sunflower seeds. So we're out here, literally in the dark. It's a. Uh, our sunflower. It's seeds. eight eight fifty at night. Allie's wondering what we're doing. It's kind of blowing her mind out here. So look at that sunset. I don't know if y'all can see how beautiful that is. Wow, look at that. Sometimes it's just good to be outside and hear the, the bugs. Have like 150 on us because it's about 95 out here. <laughs> Humidity. So, Mommy, how many have you cut? Um, well, I'm on my second huge bucket. And I'm really tonight, I'm just trying to get the mammoth ones down because those are really the best ones anyway. And then I can I come no back more. and look. You're going to have to hold that one because uh, I have no more room. Your bucket's full. Okay. Both buckets are full. Well, we're going to walk through and um, see if we can find any more of these sides, size. And then we're going to get inside and we're going to get um, all this off. And if you can see under that, there's the sunflowers, mm -hmm. seeds. And we're going to soak those in a salt brine and then roast them. And then we'll have some of our seeds. So, late night chores. The rain's kind of put us behind. So, we're going to do what we can tonight anyway. Do what we got to do. Our snake protector, Spike. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Mm -hmm. All right, baby. You ready? Let's rock and roll. I guess we're going to call this video homesteading at night. <laughs> we just moved paddocks. I know you can't see anything. I'm in a, the big field, the dairy field. You can see the little barn right there. But we are literally just finished with the sunflowers, but I just moved the cows paddocks because it's been flooding here from the hurricane or tropical, tropical storm actually. Got their water filled, it's filled up. There in the paddock. All right, we are calling it a night. So, I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? Is it bright enough? I'm sweating. It's like... I honestly believe it is about 92 or 93. It's 9 o'clock. I'm trying to do these chores outside. It's about 92 outside. Humidity is probably 90%. So we are literally sweating like crazy. So Misty just got the heads of sunflower into the house. She's going to start working on those for the night. I'm going to get a cup of coffee, put the kids to sleep. We gotta work on some billing because that's just what we do. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you how crazy my morning has been. This morning we woke up after the storm and we had power. I was like, wow, we have power, great. Well, the connection of the plug and electrical going to my stanchion that runs my pump and light went out. So now it's five o'clock in the morning that we are milking, me and Aiden are milking with flashlight hand milking Elsa because at this time she's in the stanchion the power went off again got power everywhere else but the stanchion so that's why i'm going to finish that other stanchion soon so uh, all right tell us what you're doing mommy all right tell us what you're doing harley and eliza we're getting sunflower seeds out all right mommy so let's walk through the steps yeah just after you pick the heads you just brush this little top part off and the seeds are underneath and then I'm going to make a water and salt solution and um, oh my God. soak these in there for 24 hours these Look seeds that, cool that I'll soak them in the salt water solution for 24 hours and then I'll get them out and roast them and then you'll have your sunflower seeds okay so we as we were just doing we just picked them mm -hmm. cut them off so we have, it goes from this, it looks like this, 
And you see, these, I'm using, I'm just going to keep the seeds on the small ones. They're like the size of my hand just to plant for next year. I'm just keeping the seeds. All right. So you see, it's got the top on it where it grows, where I guess the pollen is. And that's broken off. And that's what uh, Miss Mag is doing right now is breaking that off. And then, of course, you have your sunflower seeds. Now, how do you get your sunflower seeds out of that big head? I just take my hand on the edge and just kind of basically kind of like massage them out. And they'll come out. I'm like eight. Now, I think we you can do can, some salt run, but I think we need some barbecue ones. Too you probably. can. These, it really wouldn't have hurt these to get a little bit more dry. And they will literally just crackle out. But um, I probably rushed it a bit. Um, but it won't hurt to do it this way. I mean, it's not going to hurt it at all. So. All right. So what time is it that we're doing this? 9 30. 9 30. 929. Absolutely. Which is basically not 30. So, what we're seeing in the homestead world where me and Aiden were milking in the dark because the storm knocked out the power on the stanchion to where now. It was the bad day. We, we had to run an extension cord down there to get the milking machine to work. It was the bad so day. So, we tried to milk until yeah, us got a little crazy, huh? Yep. We hand milk and we've terrible. always hand milk, but for some reason she was just not having it this morning. I guess it the storm or what? So. It was a terrible one. Just one for milking. It was terrible. terrible. They carried me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to continue doing this. It has been a long day, as you have seen, with uh, uh, us talking about the milking from the sunflowers to uh, the mommy the doing the chickens, uh, trying to get rid of some maggots and everything else from the stanchion so what a day so what do we say mommy Happy all right let's try that again what do we say Happy <laughs>